Welcome to Bourbon Riders. And in case you're wondering, this is our new studio. I'm kidding. This is actually my dining room. Our studio is under renovation, so for the next couple shows, you may see this backdrop. And and yeah, it's it's not the greatest backdrop, but you know, you do what you can do. But tonight, we're going to do a new first pour on the Barrel Armida. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. It says that it's a bourbon whiskey finished in pear, brandy, rum, and Sicilian Amaro casks. Now this is cast strength. It is bottle 2201 and it's 113.72 proof. Oh yeah. Now I've been seeing the barrel products for a while and a lot of them are pretty high dollar. So they've been kind of like, I don't know if I want to try that. But this was a gift for Father's Day. So we're opening it up on Father's Day. It won't be Father's Day when you see this, but happy Father's Day anyways. But this is my Father's Day gift, and I got to pick it out, which is the best part, right? So uh, what I know about Barrel is that it is a unique product in the way they finish the bourbon, and in a lot of cases, the bourbon is sourced. Uh, I'm not sure they do any of their own distillation, but the awards and some of the good reviews I've heard about it, I don't think it matters. So going to the back of the bottle, it says it's bottled by Barrel Craft Spirits in Louisville, Kentucky. It's distilled in Indiana and Tennessee. Well, there's uh, some clues right there. Indiana could be MGP. Tennessee could be George Dickel. You just don't know for sure they don't divulge that. And, you don't blame them, right? Good bourbon is good bourbon. So it says here, Armida is a marriage of bourbon whiskeys finished separately in rum, pear, brandy, and Sicilian Amaro cast. Same thing is said on the front. This limited blend highlights the orchard fruit and exotic spice notes that we love most about bourbon. It's bottled at cast strength so you can appreciate its true flavor. And that's from Joe Patrice, I guess that is the master distiller. And of course, a warning label from the government, don't drink any alcohol. I always love that one. So um, they do have a website, and we'll put that on the bottom of the screen, barrelcraftspirits.com forward slash Armida, where you can look up more about this. So uh, we're ready to pop the top on this puppy in. Our audio is a little different, being we're not in the studio, so I hope you hear it as good as you do in the studio. So let's see what it sounds like. Nice vacuum to it. And this, you know, it's a pretty simple pear-shaped style bottle. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 I don't think there's any uh, perpendicular angles on this thing. It's all round. Oh, that is nice. I mean, you got a load of fruit right from the bottle. Definitely some uh, pear going on there. And I might smell the brandy and rum too. That's an interesting aroma. So let's see if we can get some chugging going on here. Oh yeah. I don't have quite the table space I normally do, so we're just gonna put it a little bit off to the side. Hopefully you can still see it. And like I said, there is they have a lot of variety. If you go to a bottle shop that carries like the full line of the barrel, it's quite the, uh, quite the show. I mean, it, there is a lot of varieties. And of the ones I see, most of them are finished in something. There is, uh, I think, one or two that uh, is just a cast strength uh, bourbon, uh, a blend, naturally. But uh, the finished uh, bourbons is what interests me in it. And I think that's what a lot of people like the barrel for, is how they finish the bourbon. So our light is off on a different side tonight. That's a beautiful color. Let's see if we can uh, get some legs going there. I'm right-handed, so I'm having to come across the camera. Yeah, uh, some small legs. It, 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 
It doesn't have a lot of oil. It's a very thin coating. But do, I do get a few legs coming off that. So let's see what the, let's see what the nose says. Oh, that's like a fruit pie. I mean, the pear, light fruits. I definitely get some brandy off this. Maybe rum. Didn't they say rum? Uh, yeah, rum is part of it. I don't know what the Sicilian Amaro, the cast does. I guess it's a special kind of wood. But I am picking up a little oak, so I guess that's what that is. But very fragrant. On our Rickhouse scale of one to five, five being the strongest, man, it's like a four and a half. I mean, it is, it is potent. Very nice. I mean, you could just smell this and like, man, I, you hope, you really hope that it tastes as good as it smells. I mean, it just smells that good. All right. Can't wait any longer. Cheers. It's not going to be easy describing the the fun that's going on in my palate. I get a little baking spice, uh, and then immediately you get that proof coming across because it is cast strength, but not really an ethanol, just the proof coming. You you know what's there, and those pears, and I would say almost like an apple, uh, just a fruit orchard coming across your palate along with that proof and then you taste the sweetness and the influence of the brandy wow that is some good stuff um, you know I always thought that you know some of these things is hype you know oh well it's yeah that's finished in this and finished in that so what right they know what they're doing when it comes to this Armida The, after the fruit goes away in the palate, you end up getting a nice baking spice in the finish with a little bit of sweetness. And I say a little bit of the pear that's left over. It doesn't last a long time. It's not a strong finish, but it's a good finish. I wish it lingered a little bit longer because the, uh, I mean, the taste across the palate is wonderful. Let's take another sip. And then there, there's a flavor I can't identify in it. I think it's in the spice, almost like a cinnamon or a nutmeg or something along that line with, along with the uh, fruit. It's good. Um, wow, I wish I could tell you what it is, but it, it's, like I said before, it, it's it's like drinking a fruit pie. Uh, it's wonderful. Final thoughts. This is a great sipping bourbon. Uh, a Friday night, Saturday night pour. I don't think it's too expensive that you can't have it during the week, but it's such a treat. You know, I'm thinking Friday or Saturday night, uh, or me, I'm having this on a Sunday night because it's Father's Day. This really is one of those things that Special occasion, or you just want a special bourbon, I think the Armida is, is one to go to. So that brings us to our recommendation system. One through five, one being the highest, five being the lowest, where we tell you whether you need to go right now to the store and get it. It's not gonna be there tomorrow. Get it now before someone else buys it. Down to number five, we don't recommend it at all drink it only if it's free. Uh, I don't think I've had a number five yet. I've had a couple number fours and I've had several number ones surprising even me. Tonight we're saying this is a solid level two. It should be your next purchase. If you're a bourbon collector like I am and you like different flavor profiles in your collection, this is one to have because this is going to be unlike anything else you have unless you've got 
200 bottles and this may be one of them right this is one that you want to have in your collection in my opinion it's good it's smooth it's a little bit sweet it's a lot of flavor so it's a fine sipping bourbon so level two all day long so we hope you uh, gentlemen out there you fathers out there had a wonderful Father's Day even though this is a little late when you're seeing it but uh, maybe next time we can have one done out ahead of time so it actually hits on Father's Day we're not that organized here at Bourbon Riders so you can forget that so as always uh, please like the video uh, and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this and always never drink and drive even on Father's Day. Please drink responsibly and we'll see you next time.